Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learned how to use user input and echo that back out. So we're going to build off of that today and we're going to build a magic eight ball using the rand function within PHP and uh, using user input as well as if statements. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so this should be the first relatively cool thing that we're doing with PHP. Uh, so to give you a brief overview, um, the rand statement uh, or rand function within PHP essentially generates a random number. Um, you can specify the range between one and whatever. Uh, so we'll be using that and we'll be using an if statement um, to check the number. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna say if the number equals one, spit out this. If the number equals two, spit out that. If the number equals three, so on and so forth. So uh, let's get let's let's get started. So first thing we want to do is open and close our PHP tags. And let's save this as tut.php. And we'll create our HTML. And we'll say magic eight ball. Okay. So as we did before, within our body tag, we need to create a form. So open that up, form action equals double quote uh, tut dot PHP. And if you remember, whatever you named this page uh, is what needs to be in form action because that's what's processing the information. Method equals post. Now let's create an input field and a submit button. Input type equals text name equals question placeholder equals enter your question. Create a line break or two, and let's go ahead and create an input uh, or a submit button. Excuse me, input type equals submit. Save that, and if we refresh, there we go. So we have our um, field with the submit button. Uh, let's actually change the submit button instead of saying submit to say ask. So we would type in value equals double quotes ask. Now if we refresh that should say ask. Yep, awesome. So we're done with the HTML part of this. Now we're going to go on to the PHP. So an if statement is essentially a true or false statement. It's saying if this is true, do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it check if the user input is filled out. So we're going to type if, and then in brackets, is set, brackets again, dollar underscore post, because we use the post method here, uh, square brackets, single quotes, uh, question is what we named it, I believe. Question, yep, so match up with the name here, so question. And then just inside of the last bracket here, and not, explanation mark can be not, empty, brackets, dollar, underscore, post, square brackets, single quote, question. And then we're going to do our curly braces. So basically what we've said here is if this uh, is not empty and has information in it, run whatever is in between these two things here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in echo question equals dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quotes, question. Now we'll save that and go back into our page here. Um, Hello world. Okay, so we have our echo, so that's good. Okay, so that means that 
everything we have done thus far within the PHP works. So now what we're going to do, all right, sorry about that, a little bit of a distraction there. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to specify our RAND function within PHP. So what we are going to do is we are going to say dollar sign RAND equals RAND brackets. And then we're going to go, uh, we'll say one comma four, just, just to make this short. So that means that here, I'll, I'll actually show you. So if we type in something in here, one, two, one, two, one, <laughs> three, you get the idea. So one is the smallest number it'll throw and four is the biggest number. So now that that is working, we're going to create another if statement within this if statement. So within these brackets, we're putting another if statement. So we will do if brackets, there's always brackets after if statements, dollar sign rand equals double equals one echo. Uh, now this is going to be the response for the magic eight ball. So be creative here. Um, so let's type in for sure. Uh, if rand equals two echo. I don't think so. So remember, uh, if you have to put an apostrophe, you have to escape that first if you're using single quotes or it's going to think it's code. So you do that with a backslash. Um, if rand equals three, echo ask again later. I always hated that question, uh, that answer with eight balls. If rand equals four, echo, um, outlook not good. Okay. Let's uh, zoom out here a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and save that and let's give that a shot. Do I still have that echoing rant? No, I don't. Okay, cool. So now we'll refresh this and let's go ahead and ask a question. Is the weather going to be nice tomorrow? Ask. And we get a response of, I don't think so. So that means that Rand pulled two. So you can do that with, uh, you can have as many responses as you want. I mean, you can have millions of responses if you wanted to take the time to type up all the answers. Um, you would just simply change this to, you know, like a hundred or something. But because we only have four if statements in here, um, it's best to just keep it at one comma four. So that is how you combine uh, user input uh, variables and if statements uh, as well as the RAND function within PHP to make a magic eight ball. So I will see you in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.